you began, uh, as, as I read about your, your history, it's, it's interesting to me because you studied both with Iyengar and Jessica Shaw. Mm -hmm. And I love hearing Kowski talk about his grandfather and... and, and Krishmacharya. Yeah, as, mm -hmm. as only a grandson could. Uh -huh. And essentially say, and I will edit this out, but essentially say, his, his grandpa was really cranky as a young man. As a young man, or when he was young? When, when Krishnacharya was young. He was cranky. His reflection through, through Desipacharya. Oh. When, when, when Krishnacharya was teaching Pratabi Joyce and Iyengar, he was a super competitive. He was trying to get his act together in the court. He was putting these shows together of all these contortionists. Right. And um, um, he taught what was appropriate at each phase of his life. Mm -hmm. um, and based on his cranky mindset? Perhaps. Or, that's what was saying? Perhaps. Mm -hmm. but I, you know, I yeah. think I'm really simplifying that because of the filter that I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. But, um, my question is, and if, it, it's really a personal question, you've, you've experienced from from the lineage that so many of us here have been introduced to, the, the Christian Charter lineage. I know there are many other lineages. Mm -hmm. And you studied with Ayan uh, and with Jessica mm -hmm. You bring a very different interpretation of narrow master's perspective. And Krishna Machari was still alive when I was there. Yeah. So did you actually. Uh, yeah, I, of course he was. Yeah. I, I never. Uh, did class with him, but I, um, I would see him every time I'd go over to their house. Mm -hmm. He said three things to me. <laughs> uh, one was, your teacher is not here today. Second one was, Please lock your bicycle. <laughs> and then the third one, I, I, I overheard him say it to somebody. Um, and he said it just like the yoga is not mechanical. <laughs> and that sort of totally stuck. Um, and always when I went over to their house, he was always sitting on the porch like this. He was on the porch in a, on a wicker chair. I think he was saying his mantra. He just, I think he, he did mantras a lot, and I would come up and namaste him. You know, like I lived there for a year. You know, every time I go up there, <laughs> namaste him, uh, and there was no response ever. And I thought it was so cool. <laughs> um, but that wasn't your question. <laughs> but still, <laughs> this is historical, um, or one of the memories that I have of him. Yeah.